What's up everyone, Derek here with a Pokemon Sword and Shield update specifically on what Pokemon appeared in the Sword and Shield Direct. And there's quite a bit, almost 50 in fact. And so I took some screenshots of all their instances in order to show them off to you. And right off the bat with this scene here, we have Steenie. Uh, hanging out here with this trainer uh, around this little birdbath type thing or a fountain for Pokemon, which is a cool little touch. Continuing on, we have our three new Pokemon, Wul uh, Wulu, uh, God Godafleur, and Dreadnought, which they pointed out in the Direct itself, so nothing too crazy there. Same goes for our Corviknight uh, bird Pokemon here. And of course, we got our first look at the wild areas where we get both uh, Wobbuffet and Beware. Another fun thing to note, uh, we actually can see the gender differences of Pokemon as they're walking around in the wild, as we see here for Wobbuffet. Continuing on, we have a lot of uh, Hippopotas uh, amongst the, uh, amongst the uh, grass, and then Snover, appropriately enough, whenever it's snowing in the outskirts of this town. Of course, we got Rhydon in the desert going through a sandstorm. And then we have Gyarados in the lake, along with Frillish. Now, one fun, interesting thing to note with uh, Gyarados, you might be able to catch them in the wild naturally, but they did mention during the Direct that certain Pokemon are only catchable after you defeat them in a raid battle. So, once you defeat them in that raid, they all become available in that area, and you can actually catch them without having to go through that process again, which we'll see examples of as we continue on. Uh, off the bat here, we have... Uh, some Stuffle and a Bound Suite, along with the Butterfree, of course, out, in the, out and about. Of course, Mudsdale returns as well from uh, Sun and Moon. And then we have one we haven't seen in a while, Seismitoad from Gen 5. Of course, we got Tyranitar as well, and then an Avalug uh, hanging out there in the snow as well. Howlucha returns from Gen 6, right there. And then we have quite the group here. So as we mentioned with Gyarados, we also have there are Pokemon just showing up uh, in areas that you can explore after you defeat them in a raid battle. That's almost certainly the case for Milotech here, which I believe has never been ca catchable in the wild. But in addition, we have both Mantyke and Mantine. Now this one is a little interesting because there was a bit of a wave here next to a stuffle that came out during one scene, and it seemed like there were some sort of ears uh, that we, you know, of, of some other Pokemon that we just weren't sure of. At first we thought it was Buneary, but then a later scene showed us this, and it seems pretty likely that it's actually a Bunnel B. So, yep, he's in there. And of course we have Raichu, which isn't too much of a surprise considering Pikachu was in the original trailer, but still good to see him get a highlight here. And uh, I thought I'd mention it just because I wasn't sure exactly how major of a role he plays, but Rotom is in the game, uh, specifically as a uh, drone for uh, camera during the gym battles so people at home could actually watch them, which is a cool little touch. We can actually see him flying around here, so there's multiple drones getting the angles. And then, of course, we got the evolution of God of Fleur, which is Eldegoss in its Dynamax form. And behind our champion here, we get to see Charizard. Then finally for the trailer, we get our uh, two new legendary Pokemons. The shield Pokemon is Zamazenta, while the sword Pokemon is Zacian. But of course, the Direct itself had more Pokemon to see, including Boodoo, Pancham, Growlithe, uh, Inke, and Wingull. Another example of how Dynamax battles will eventually put them into the wild. Steelix in the wild, which, yeah, has not happened before. A little weird. We also get Braviary, Weavile, Clefable, Dugtrio, which isn't too much of a surprise considering that statue, and Quagsire. So yeah, those are all 49 Pokemon that we spotted in the trailer. Now, of course, there's a couple other Pokemon in there, such as Grubbin, who uh, was in the first trailer, so we didn't really count that. And uh, technically, you could include Raichu as a duh, but yeah, it's still there. And noteworthy to see that it's Kanto Raichu rather than the Alolan Raichu. So yeah, those are all 49 Pokemon that made an appearance in the Pokemon Direct. What do you guys think of this selection so far? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Pokemon, including a discussion and an analysis, and other things gaming as well. Till next time guys, bye.